What's going on, everybody? I hope everybody having a great Sunday afternoon. I um, just want to hop on here real quick and just uh, share what the Lord is putting on my heart. So I feel like the Lord put on my heart uh, Re uh, Revelation chapter t uh, 10 when um, John the Revelator, uh, you know, you know about the book of Revelations, right? Uh, the revelation of Christ and John is taken up to heaven and given all of these visions. Um, so at this point in, in Revelation, in Revelation 10, an angel of the Lord uh, came to John, right? And gave him a scroll. And, and in chapter 10, the angel instructs John to take the scroll and eat it, right? And this is what I feel like the Lord really want me to dive into and get into here. So when he ate it, the Bible says that it was sweet, right? But then it was bitter. In church, I feel like what the Lord is saying is that, you know, we we love all of the sweetness of God, right? Which which we should, right? About how his word is a lamp to my feet. You know, it's like it's like honey to me and all that. Like just multiple scriptures, right? Um about uh you got scriptures like taste and see that the Lord is good. Um of course Psalms twenty three, the Lord is my shepherd, right? Um, I think it's uh Isaiah chapter forty, those who wait on the Lord um will have renewed and, and re renewed found strength and they will not be weary, and those are all powerful verses. But what about when we get that that bitter taste in our mouth, that that the, the taste is not sweet, right? What about when the Lord says, okay, you want to level up in me, that relationship got to be cut. <clears throat> you want to level up in me, you got to cut that friend off. You want to level up in me, you got to, you know, uh, cancel Netflix or cancel whatever it may be. I don't know. HBO Max, I, I don't know. It looks different for us all. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. But. You know, we're a quick church to embrace the sweet, like I said, which we should. But how do we how do we respond to the bitterness, to that bitter part, right? And also we can apply this too with sharing the gospel. The American church, we're quick to tell people all of the sweetness of Jesus, right? The sweetness of the gospel. And we should, yes. Jesus bled, was beaten by his stripes. We are healed by his blood. We are set free. We are redeemed. We are washed. Generational curses are broken. Um, we're saved from our sins. And if we believe in him, you know, if we believe in Jesus and confess and repent, we're saved. Yes, that's all true. But we got to throw that bitter in there too, right? And in America, here's the bitter part. When we get to talking about really what sin is. See, we have been unbalanced with the gospel in America. We, we've been all sweet, just all sweet as honey, right? But we ain't throwing in that. You got to repent of your sins. We got to turn from our wicked ways. We got to surrender all. We got to die to ourselves, right? We got to deny our flesh and take up our cross. We we leave that, that part out because it's considered bitter, right? We leave that part out, but we just, it's all sweet. Jesus died for you. You know, here, here, here's your go sin free car. Here's grace. Go, go send it up. Pretty much that's what we telling people. And that's how a lot of us live within the church, within the church walls. We, we got this hyper grace and, and don't get me wrong. You know, it's a difference between habitual sin, like continuously versus a if Right. That's why I says in first John, John said, if you sin, then you can come to the father. You can come to Jesus. You can repent if I have not when. Right. So we got to live church with the sweet and the bitter. Right. We got to live in some days. The Lord may have an assignment for us. His Holy Spirit speaking to us and everything may be sweet. Like, oh, man, that's exactly what I wanted. Lord, how how did you know I wanted a. a uh, pineapple smoothie from Trop. I'm, I'm being bear with me here. A pineapple smoothie that's sweet from Tropical Smoothie. How, how did you know I wanted that, Lord? But then some days it'd be something that 
our flesh don't want to do. Often it may be that, right? The Lord will call you somewhere like, hey, I want you to go work in that area today. Oh, Lord, you know, I don't like cutting grass on that side of the town. All my customers over here know I want you to go to this side of the city and I want you to find customers on this side. I have an assignment for you. That's when things can be like bitter, like, Ugh, I don't, Lord, I don't know if I want to do that, right? We got to embrace the sweet and the bitter. So I just feel like that's all, you know, the Lord have, man, for me to share, that we got to embrace God completely. And when we share the gospel, we got to share the sweet, but then we got to share the bitter part, right? That's why I says, I believe in Luke 14, where Jesus talks about the cost of discipleship, the cost of what it means to really serve him, right? That's why he said you got to hate your mother and your father and your brother and all that, right? Meaning Jesus is saying, I got to come first period point blank ain't no debating it right and you got to add up the cost see the sweet part of it is yes jesus died on the cross jesus took that beating on our behalf right he was that sacrifice on our behalf that's the sweet but then the bitter part is like hey those relationships that 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 your favorite cousin you grew up with who you used to run the streets with got to separate from him share the gospel to him but that's when jesus said if they don't receive you shake the dust off and keep it moving so that's the bitter part and i believe that what the lord is showing me that's missing from the american church we have just produced and and taught this sweet only jesus and we're not mixing in the, the bitter part on the things that's tough to swallow you know, I had some relationships that the Lord highlighted to me a couple years ago. Um, he said, hey, man, you know, certain people you talk to, you may have been knowing them for a long time. You may see this person as a friend, as a childhood friend or whatever. But they every time they call you, you know, every time you run into them, it's they, they giving you bad advice. And it's it's if you keep that relationship, it's, it's you know, these individuals are weighing you down. And I have to make a make a decision, right? Um, and like I said, these relationships can go all the way back into from when you was in elementary school. But this is the thing, man. We got we got to take the sweet and the bitter, you know. Um, and then it'd be well worth it, you know, to go deeper in the Lord from glory to glory. A great work He had begun in this church, He will complete. So it'd be well worth it to take the sweet and the bitter. So. That's all pretty much all I got, man. Uh, God bless y'all. Love y'all. Till next time.